They have youth, athleticism, and now they have experience to go along with it. I'm Amanda Borges here with The Spin, joined in studio by senior NBA insider Chris Haynes. The Eastern Conference looks a little different without LeBron. Most people have Boston, Philly, and Toronto at the top. So Chris, who do you like out of the East? I'm going with Boston. And if you look at the fact that they're bringing on Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward this year, you have to propel them up to the top. Toronto, had, you would think that they possibly lost a step with DeMar. Uh, but we're going to see with Kawhi Leonard if he can produce and play at a high level this year coming off of his injury. And he had Philly, like, are they legit? You know, we thought Philly was going to make promise in the playoffs. They kind of sputtered uh, during that playoff mode. So that's why I got to go to Boston. Just for now, they have youth, athleticism, and now they have experience to go along with it. So for all those reasons, along with those two studs getting back in the fold and without LeBron James mm -hmm. out there, I got to go with Boston all the way. Well, last year it was Philly who took that next step as a young team. So who could be this year's Sixers? You know what? I don't know if the, anybody can completely duplicate what the Sixers did last year. But if, if there's a team who has a chance, I'm going to go with the Chicago Bulls. You think of Zach Levine and him getting that extension, trying to prove that he's an all-star. Jabari Parker going back home. Uh, many people believe he's an all-star type player when healthy. And then they got a bunch of young studs over there who can take that leap and can become household names in the NBA. So you add all of those th attributes up with Fred Hoiberg. And we have to remember, when Fred Hoiberg came into the league, people thought he was going to be best suited to coach a young team, to kind of be able to grow with that team. But he came in when there was a Jimmy Butler, when there was a D. Rose. And so it wasn't the right fix. This is the right fix for him right now. And so that's why I think the Chicago Bulls probably have the most potential to duplicate what the Sixers did. All right, you heard that. Bulls fans, get excited. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it. Make sure to follow Yahoo Sports NBA on social media and keep up to date with The Spin on Yahoo Sports.